Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie. This is Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. Make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe, turn on the notification. You can thumbs down if you got a problem with it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I am on my road to 300. So tell a friend and tell a friend and tell that friend you hate to come on over, subscribe, and join me on this lovely journey that I'm moving extremely slow with. But I like talking, so it doesn't matter. So what we talking about? It's my Corona Blitz, you know. Ain't too much we could do besides talk wrestling. That's what we're here for. Um, this one's going to be pretty focused. This one, this this particular episode is going to be about Braun Strowman. And uh, what Braun Strowman has said over on the internet. And I just don't know why he thought that was going to be a good idea. And I don't understand the bootstrapism that is America. Especially in the face of something so, you know, so catastrophic across the board. And he, I just don't, I don't understand what he was thinking. But then again, he's a big, you know, goofball. So, I don't know if that's really who he is as a man. But this tweet shows me who he is as a man. Okay? He sounds like the quintessential WWE traditional fan who don't understand shit don't understand why people want diversity don't understand why the product sucks and we complain about it because we want it to be better who can't have read and who look big and dumb so to give a little context you know WWE was going to have a huge week Wrestlemania events and these events that Wrestlemania and WWE brings to different states other promotions and other things feed off of that from hotels to bars to indie promotions to uh, wrestle cons to meetups, meet and greets, and all kinds of shit feed off of the biggest night of professional wrestling, which is WrestleMania. Okay? Now, since the coronavirus has taken hold of the, the world, of this, this, of this world, okay? It, it has throwing a monkey wrench in a lot of things. As usual, the people who feel the brunt of everything are always the ones who have to get up and go to work, who have to struggle, who have to try to keep food on the table. And you know, the ones that you treat like shit. Food service workers, housekeepers, um, custodial workers in hospitals, food service in hospitals, um, the garbage man, the mailman, uh, the check cash place, all the places that y'all think are supposed to, that people who work these jobs are stupid and they, they don't need to be getting paid $15 an hour, they just need to, they need to go to school. All of that is bringing humanity in the face to these service jobs and why these service jobs are needed and people need to do them from the plumber to the motherfucking uh, fumigator man to, to Orkin. Somebody got to do the job and they deserve respect. Now, the best part is when you can moonlight and do something you like. A lot of wrestlers tend to moonlight. If you watch like old wrestling documentaries and stuff, they'll tell you like, oh, I used to work at, I don't know, uh, Chick-fil-A and then I would go and wrestle at an indie show with a company run by um, Jim Jones and they used to pay me like $50, but I loved it so much I did it. All the old guys, when they sit down and reminisce, Stone Cold, uh, Jake the Snake, and, and Brent uh, Hart, and all them old guys, when they sit down and reminisce about indie wrestling and how they had to work through that. And back in the day, they was getting paid like $25, and they had to stay in the room together, and you know, they drinking beers and, and doing all kinds of shit because they was young, they enjoyed what was going on, they was having a good time, and you know, all of that. They started in the indies. Some of our favorite wrestlers now started in the indies. Everyone didn't get the opportunity to just sign on, go through a, a PC, a performance, uh, you know, like the WWE got the little performance center and all that. Even the WWE just had a um, documentary you could watch on the WWE Network talking about the Florida Performance Center before they closed it and gave us the Performance Center that's more standard of art. You had a lot of the wrestlers that are superstars now coming out that Florida um, 
the floor of the performance center and how it was hot it wasn't no uh ring they had some canned goods in there they had like one ring and and you know everybody was sweating and they was trying to learn and dusty rose was teaching them and it was just so rugged and it felt like they was putting in work that's considered indies right so with that being said now you got context and context and why the indies need to be need to be honed and need to be understood so Braun Strowman had to open his mouth and, and be dumb here's a little bit of uh, uh, what's going on and many in the pro wrestling world this is from Forbes by the way many in the pro wrestling world such as AEW stars Chris Jericho Cody and most notably John Moxley have stepped up to help their struggling brethren amend these tough times Moxley has made several generous contributions to independent wrestling promotions affected by the nationwide bans on public gathering including overseas promotion over top wrestling which Moxley don't like to he didn't want that put out there but someone put the business out and I'm sure other stars probably donated secretly because they come from the indies I wouldn't be surprised if Seth Rollins donated to an indie promotion because he was like deep into that shit right okay Braun Strowman, however, has taken a, diff, a decidedly tougher stance as the top star and former WWE Inter Intercontinental Champion. He scoffed at struggling pro wrestlers for wanting somebody to take care of him. In response to AEW star Evil Uno, now first of all, I don't even know why he's even, why he even chimed in. I don't even know why Braun fucking Strowman chimed in. Is it because you got that, you, you signed a new contract. They gave you the Intercontinental Championship for a couple days, which should have never been on you. Um, the reason why you even got that contract is because now you can negotiate because AEW exists along with New Japan, but they wasn't going to pick you up no way. Impact and all these other places exist, so you were able to negotiate. And being that Vince McMahon don't want to let nobody go, he was willing to give your big doofy ass some more money. So you lucked out in that particular instance. Now, what he says, and I'm going to read it, is egregious. And it really speaks to what a most Americans say until the shit happens to them. Braun Strowman tweeted, Adam Sure, and I think this is who he really is, by the way. Here we go with more of somebody pay for my bill stuff. If you can't afford to pay your bills, maybe you should change professions. That's why I quit Strongman. I loved it. But I couldn't afford to live. So instead of making a GoFundMe or a Patreon wanting someone else to take care of me, I went out and worked harder than ever. I ever have in my life to get where I am. What happened to being accountable for your actions? He went on to say, and for everyone who... That goes, that's easy for you to say, you're a WWE superstar, just the FYI. Seven years ago, I moved to Florida with everything I own in a Kia Soul with the $150 to my name when I started this. After he said that, he got dragged for filth, uh, rightly so. Let's 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 just go back to something. This is this is how I this is the majority of what Americans think until the shit happens to them. Okay? When the government got shut down uh, last year, last winter, I believe, when the government got shut down, motherfuckers were scrambling, losing their jobs, asking the government to help them. The same government that when the Americans are doing good, they want government out their face. But when Americans are doing bad, it's, oh, somebody help me. And then the ones that's always doing bad, they're saying, hey, what the fuck are you doing? We get, we're voting for you, we, we need assistance, and you just looking like a looker, like the fuck. And then y'all call them social justice warriors when they fighting for what's right. And make no mistake, the reason why there is even a moral compass is because black people decided to open their fucking mouth and say, you're not going to keep doing us the way you're doing us. Everything that's fucking happening right now, you better look to African Americans, you better look to black Americans who was in this country during the slavery, civil rights, etc. And you better ask them how to make sugar, for how to make sh uh, shit to sugar. You better ask them 
Because all you motherfuckers that say some shit like this, y'all better hope y'all make it through the whole summer. Because this shit supposed, this corona supposed to last to damn in September. Y'all better hope y'all know how to make a fucking, uh, 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 uh the world star meal out of some fucking hot dogs and rice. Y'all better fucking hope. Cause the same people that say bullshit like this is the same ones that be asking government. Oh, yeah, uh, what, what is that? Why are you get? How dare he? Here we go with more of the somebody pay my bill stuff. The who? The, what the fuck is you talking? These people did not ask y'all to pay the bills. They feed off of the WWE. It's no different. Like for instance, the Arnold Classic comes to Columbus, Ohio. Arnold Classic, I know y'all know, if you wrestling fans, y'all already know what Arnold Classic is. So, they get the convention center downtown. It brings a large amount of money to Columbus. And then Arnold Classic also feeds the restaurants, the nightlife. They feed uh, tourism, because you get to see all the muscle-bound motherfuckers walking around. They feed, they got the cab drivers eating. The people come out with their um, wares. They like to put on the sidewalk, like, pictures and stuff you could buy. Um, they out there, uh, you know. All kinds of stuff feeds off of certain productions. Because they don't have the money to put on no production like WWE or AEW. AEW, if they had, they were supposed to have blood and guts in New Jersey. That would have fed New Jersey. They would have got money and people would have had their little things going on. While you at blood and guts, come on over to Cody Jones uh, Auditorium and watch We Kicking Ass by the, the the tough guy promotion in New Jersey. You understand? When something goes on at Madison Square Garden, places like House of Glory and all these other places in New York, independent wrestling, they're going to feed off of that. That's not asking motherfuckers to pay their bills. So when this fucking happened, and they can't have um, physical contact with each other, just like y'all can't have physical contact with each other, putting on these weak-ass fucking shows on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then you're going to have a, a, a weak-ass WrestleMania, you're going to come up and say some shit like this because you just signed a contract? Man, fuck that. He said, that's why I quit strongman. Oh, you should change professions. Yeah, that's super easy. You a big, doofy white dude. Right? Who like to shoot guns. Look like you from West Virginia or some shit. I don't even know where he from. Okay? You don't know how to fucking wrestle. You there because you big. Alright? Then, you talking about you you left strong man because you couldn't afford it. So you went to into professional wrestling? You should have stayed in strong man if you like it. These guys like what they doing. Ain't nobody fucking ask you to switch uh, professions and come fuck up this one with that running around the ring. That ain't no fucking wrestling. That's why Brock Lesnar punched your ass in the face. Because you don't know how to wrestle properly. Shit. A Patreon, a GoFundMe. Yes, there are rich people who have Patreons. There are rich people who have GoFundMe to prop up their projects. You going to tell them don't do that too? Someone else take care of me. I went and worked harder. I, I, I ever have in my life to get where I am. What happened to being accountable for your actions? Do you know that Braun Strowman in the WWE never will be the top guy because he is literally a heat fucking magnet? Right here is more heat. Braun Strowman in the every time I read the wrestle rumors or wrestle papers or what's going on, Braun Strowman, if he looked the wrong way, he got heat. He walking around big and dumb, he got heat. He went and, and didn't perform properly, he got heat. He's a heat fucking magnet. And it ain't for no good reason. So here he is that drew more fucking heat. And he's supposed to be the good guy in the goddamn WrestleMania in the, in the WWE. Then he goes on to say, because he, you know, he couldn't just stop there. He, he got to keep on going. Then he going to say, which, which by the way, okay, if you had a Kia fucking soul and $150 and made it to fucking Florida, you doing better than 90% of the population, okay? Because let's not forget the great one. One of the best entertainers, entertainers coming out of the WWE. One of the most successful entertainers coming out of the goddamn WWE. Let's not forget the story of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. 
Because he gonna tell you that story. If you ask him, he gonna tell you how you started. Do you know he will tell you? Well, I I went to college. I left college and I went and decided to go wrestling. I had six of uh, seven bucks in my pocket. The Rock had less money than Braun Strowman when he started out. Braun Strowman had $150 and a kid sold. The Rock had seven bucks and I guess he was dragging his fucking knuckles. Okay? And it took The Rock damn near, what, three, four years to even fucking pop in the WWE before he came The Rock. Before he even became The Rock. Braun Strowman been in the fucking WWE for what, like, I don't know, four or five years and has yet to hold a belt uh, besides it's kind of the championship and they took the shit off of you in two days you shouldn't have had the belt to be goddamn begin with I start, I, I had everything in a key of soul and a hundred dollars fifty dollars man and when I started you doing more than the guys in the indie wrestling I don't know who he thought he was fucking impressing doing bullshit like that he didn't impress none of the old none of the legends he didn't press Stone Cold Steve Austin. He didn't press Brett Michaels. He didn't press uh, 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 Shawn Michaels. He didn't press um uh what's his name uh and I forgot his name Brett. He 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 didn't press fucking uh Dustin Rhodes and he didn't press nobody with this bullshit. You won't be getting invited to no indie shows so people can see you because you dumb. Folks ripped in his fucking ass. Somebody said congratulations to Braun Strowman for winning the worst Instagram post of 2020 award. How dare you in the time of Corona and a time in my lifetime. I'm 39 years old and I had never experienced no shit like this. I didn't go through the Great Depression. My grandparents did. I didn't go well black folks been in a recession since we've been here. But I ain't never seen no shit like that. Everything shut down. And only thing I can do is go to grocery store and go to work. Because I'm essential staff. And you sitting here telling me. the mo So the moment they tell me. Well, you don't need to come into work. And I go file for unemployment. When I'm, I'm asking somebody to pay my fucking rent. All Evo Uno wants us to do is support indie wrestling. But Braun Strowman had to say this. What a dick. WWE bots have taken control this asshole's mind. People just like, what the fuck are you? Why? This 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 annoyed me so much because bootstrapism is the reason why this fucking country is in the predicament it's in. A motherfucker pay taxes and when it's time to go get the food stamps, y'all call it entitlement. A motherfucker pays in the social security. When it's time to go get the social security, they gotta get uh they gotta get uh declined three times, gotta get a lawyer just to get some shit that you paid into until you seventy five fucking years old. I fall down, I go down to get to get some unemployment, you talking about oh you looking for a handout. These are basic fucking safety nets that who Franklin Roosevelt put out. And a, and a good chunk, the one chunk in the United States that was locked out of that shit but still paid into it are black people. The same people I want to see more of. I don't want to see more of this big doofus shit saying some shit like that. How dare you? Like, how tone deaf and stupid can you be? And I, I guarantee you, you won't see Braun Strowman for a minute because of this stupid ass tweet. He didn't impress Triple H. He didn't impress Triple H. He didn't impress Stephanie McMahon. He didn't impress Shane. He damn sure don't impress Vince. Vince think he a big fucking dumb sideshow. That man ain't been taken seriously in at least last three years. Mm. I had to get something to drink. While Strowman's aggression and lack of empathy toward an unprecedented pandemic essentially guaranteed a swift backlash, there's a level of the of validity. Wow, listen. You, validity. You know what the hell I'm saying. To his message of self reliance. Countless pro wrestlers have war stories of being destitute at some point in their lives, only to rally around their dreams and make it to the top of professional wrestling. But given the timing and saltiness behind Strowman's delivery, his Instagram message to struggling independent wrestlers could hardly be seen as inspirational. 
Strowman has been in a quiet, pugnacious mood as of late. Just yesterday, he made headlines for poking fun at recent AEW signee and fellow big man Lance Archer. The two had the following exchange shortly after Archer's unique pre taped segment aired on March 18th broadcast of Dynamite. Which I like, because he was in the ring punching and knocking motherfuckers out. He wasn't in the ring with his finger there talking about, You guys ready? What do you? And zip, 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 and running around the ring stiff as fuck. Braun Strowman don't even bend his knees when he runs. So he said, this is what Braun Strowman should have been. You look like a true beast. And Braun Strowman said, great value version of me. Good joke. And then Lance Armstrong said, great value, you say, hmm. Great, yup, value, yup, experience, yup, agile, yup, interesting, yup, personality, yup. So yeah, you can say I'm a damn good value. Thanks, kid. That's what the fuck you call a read. That motherfucker, Lance Archer just read him for filth. You know what? He just read him down. He said great. Valuable, experienced, agile, interesting personality. Yup. Give it to him. Give it to him. Look at, look at Braun Strowman just drawing fucking heat. And you supposed to be a face on TV. Strowman's next to the feud is anybody's guess. The looming threat of nationwide shelter in place orders is true. It's sure to result in increased social media activity. So don't expect this to be the last Braun Strowman tweet controversy. And that's out of Forbes magazine. I'm going to leave it right here. But I'm going to say this to all y'all. This is more than just about wrestling. There's people out here fucking hurting. There's homeless people who are on the street fucking hurting. There's people who got to go to the schools to get lunch and, and breakfast for their kids. And somebody said, how come people can't feed their kids? I have never not known people who couldn't feed their kids. Everyone has... Do you know how free lunch came about? The Black Panthers. They've been free. We've been trying to get... Motherfuckers been getting free lunch since I was born. I do not, never not know someone who didn't get free lunch and free breakfast. What are you talking about why people can't feed their kids? Because the minimum wage is $8.35 in Ohio. And rent alone is $750 fucking dollars. How the fuck am I supposed to feed my kid if I gotta work 90 hours a week on $8.35? Pay my rent and other utilities, and then try to get put food on the fucking table. And when I go ask for food stamps, a motherfucker talk about, oh, what? Well, you come in here, you look, what you got You ask people, some real, 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 real. yeah, yeah, yeah. So while you sitting there on your high horse feeling real good today because you had a steak sandwich, everybody who isn't in the 2% is one paycheck away from poverty. Understand it. So I suggest you find somebody, like I said, who knows how to turn shit to sugar and get like them and figure some shit out. Cause this this pandemic, this pandemic and whatever else coming behind that motherfucker, we gonna know it. We gonna learn. People who think like Braun Strowman, y'all gonna be the ones who's gonna be looking real fucking hurt. Braun Strowman better tread lightly. Cause that motherfucker gonna be a main event. Okay? And last time I checked, main event ain't where you want to be. This is Wrestling Color Podcast. You tell me how you feel about that, about what Braun Strowman. Tell me how you feel about Braun Strowman, period. I never was a Braun Strowman fan no fucking way. Okay? Even when he was in the, um, with Bray Wyatt and them. Big dumbass. You got, you got motherfucking Luke Harper, Brody, over there on AEW. A part of the Dark Order, looking fucking fabulous. You got fucking John Moxley cooking. You got Brad, uh, Matt Hardy over there with his broken shit. And just for the record, I ain't never was into that broken shit Matt Hardy does. But I'm glad he's somewhere doing what he want to do, feeling good. And you got your big doofy, doofy ass running around the ring and an Intercontinental Champion for two weeks. Reevaluate Braun Strowman. I am on my road to 300, y'all. If you made it this far, put pound. Road to 300. I appreciate each and every one of you. See you on the next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, please.